this one, uh, it looks like a number question. It's not really um, because um, the whole point of this question is that a circle is a special type of ellipse whose eccentricity is zero. <laughs> and, um, and the other is the kind of the term semi-major axis. You can think of it as a kind of a generalized version of the radius. The radius part is the semi, um, it's a half of the axis, and the generalized part is major. As in, if you're looking at a circle, um, all the points are at the same distance, there's no major minor to talk about. But with the ellipse, there's a major axis, the longer axis, and there's a minor axis, the shorter axis. So semi-major axis would be half of the longer axis. Um, with a circle, that just means radius. So circle of diameter 24 centimeters, radius should be 12. Um, so this is one of those questions that looks like a number question, are not, just asking you to know the, some of the terms. Uh, this one is an actual number question. And I think with the number of questions, I do try to give enough hints. Um, so, well, the question tells me semi-major axis, uh, one astronomical unit, and it tells me the distance between the foci. And this, yeah, anyways, uh, I took care to use the term your textbook uses so that I don't confuse people. <laughs> and, um, and in the hint, you know, it uh, talks about the terms used to describe ellipses, including eccentricity, or explain the subsection. So if you look at the subsection, it will give you enough information so that you know what formula to use, how to calculate the eccentricity directly from the numbers that are given. And that, that is the farthest I want to go as far as requiring math in this class goes. So when you look at this section, you read it through, and actually the question, you may find this question around figure 3.4, drawing on ellipse example. Okay, so let me skip to that. 3.4, ah, drawing on ellipse. Ah, here it is, eccentricity. Ah, here's how it defines it. The ratio of the distance between the foci to the uh, foci, that's one. And I think that's one of the numbers I have to the length of the semi-major axis. And I hope everyone here knows what a ratio is. It's a basically a fraction. There's some nuance to the difference, but it's basically the fraction. So it's the fraction with this distance in the numerator and this length in the denominator. So when I go back here, so this number is the number that needs to go on the numerator. And this number is the number that needs to go in the denominator. So, oh, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I am just gonna put into the calculator knowing what it's gonna give me. So 0 0.0167 divided by one. Um, it's because of the units we are using to measure. Astronomical unit is particularly convenient unit when you are talking about the orbit of Earth's uh, Earth around the sun. So, so yeah, eccentricity of Earth orbit is 0 0.0167. And I think I also gave this enough tolerance that if you are rounding your numbers, it should have stopped. Oh wait, I didn't. Oh, all right, you know, don't round. <laughs> okay, don't unnecessarily round. Because here, you know, that is basically this number here. I didn't think you should be rounding it. Um, if this had been like 1.1, then I would have given you more of a tolerance. Um, so yeah, this is a, so this is a number question and you do have to kind of read about ellipses and uh, with the number questions, most of the time you should find that the information given in the textbook is enough and I do uh, try to guide you to that information through hints.